Are you a real estate agent using platforms like lead pages to create website landing pages for your property listings? In this video, I'm going to show you an on screen demo of how to add the tracking pixel to your lead pages landing pages. So let's get into that right now. We're going to go into screen sharing mode and I'm going to show you a sample landing page I have set up and I'm going to show you how to get your Facebook meta pixel install it on the page and then test that it's firing and tracking the data. So let's get into that right now. Okay, so we're here in lead pages and this is a sample template page that I created just from their templates that are available. It's a demo page. So as you can see, it's got, you know, the, the real estate company, the address of the listing, the typical stuff you would find in a property landing page. So in order to add the tracking data on this page, what we have to do is go in the left side menu here and click on this settings tab. So the first tab here is for SEO data, and this is really to help the search engines identify your page. And you can add a page title here. Most often what I recommend realtors do is include your name and then the address. This way you're branding both your own name and the property address in the listing page. The next thing is a page description. This is what comes up under the page title when someone's doing a Google search. So just giving a short description here is perfectly fine. And then any keywords and a keyword here, you could use things like the city, the, the area location, um, the type of house, the address, those kinds of things here are just keywords for search engines to pick up. The next tab here is for social. This isn't as um, important, but if you're sharing this link on social media posts, let's say you wanna share this link on Facebook, what can happen is Facebook would typically automatically try to pull a picture and information about the landing page. If you wanna control what displays there, this is how you can upload an image that you wanna show, maybe it's one of the, the pictures of the home, um, and then you can, type in a title and a description, just like we did for the SEO stuff. Now this analytics tab, this is really what we're after in this video. The first two areas here are for your Google Analytics measuring or tracking ID. I'm not gonna go into detail about how to find these um, or set up your Google Analytics account. Google Analytics 4, which is listed here at the top, is the newer version of Google Analytics, and that's what you wanna be using. So make sure if you don't have it set up, that you set up Google Analytics 4. Um, this is the older Google Analytics. Um, this is the legacy style of tracking that was there, and they're moving everybody to Google Analytics 4. In terms of other tracking, if let's say you want to put your Facebook meta pixel here, um, your, your Facebook tracking pixel here, if you have Google search ads that you're doing, you want to put the tracking pixel or the tracking code in, this is where you would do it in this head section. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to flip over to meta to Facebook and I'm going to show you how to find that tracking pixel and then we'll come back and we'll add it on the page. So if you have a Facebook business page, you'll be familiar with this. This is Meta Business Studio, also called Facebook Business Studio. Basically, this allows you to track everything from your posts, your page, Instagram, all that kind of stuff, your inbox, it's all in one. The way to see your pixel and all this other information is to come down to settings over here. Click on settings. If you end up on this page, sometimes you'll be taken to a completely different page, which I'll show you next. If you get here, what you wanna do is you wanna click on business settings. So let's click on that tab. And then what you'll see here is all of the details. Now I'm gonna, I'm hiding some of this information on this page just for privacy reasons, but on the left side here, this is everything that you can set up and control for all of your Facebook or meta marketing. What we wanna to get to is data sources right under here and then select pixels. If you already have your pixel set up, you'll see it in the list here. As you can see, I've got my going social Facebook pixel right here. And then in order to see the code that we need, come up here to this tab where it says open events manager. And if you have a pixel already installed, this is where you would see information like this, where you can see that there's data coming and there's activity that Facebook is tracking on, on your website. If you don't have any traffic yet, obviously you won't see this. Um, and if you need to set up your Facebook pixel, you can go ahead and do that. 
In this example where I'm showing you, we already have the pixel set up. So I'm just gonna show you how to find that pixel code. If you come under here under manage integrations, you can click on that. You'll get this little pop-up and then under this tab for manage, you wanna to go to add to another website. Next, you wanna select install code manually. That'll open up to this page and it's got all of your pixel code data right here. All you have to do is click this button, copy code. Now we've got that. What we wanna do is we wanna flip back over to our lead pages page and again, go to this field here for the head section. The head section is basically the top of the code on this page. It's the section that loads first and we want that pixel to load first. So all you have to do is paste, put it in there and you can see that all of that little code, the tracking code has been um, copied and entered here. Next, just click save at the top here and on your page, you have to click update, or if this is the first time you're setting up your page, you'll see a publish button here. So just click update, and once that finishes, it'll say that it has loaded the page for you, or saved the page for you. Now that we have the pixel code copied, entered into our landing page and saved, what we have to do is we have to test it. We wanna to test to make sure that the code is working, that Facebook is actually able to track traffic as it goes to the page. The way we do this is with a Google Chrome extension. It's called MetaPixel Helper. I'm gonna go back to screen sharing mode. We need to use Google Chrome browser to demo this. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to find that that um, extension, how to install the extension if you don't already have it, and then I'm gonna show you how to test to make sure that the pixel code is firing. So let's flip back over to screen sharing mode now and we'll go through that demo together. Now we're back here in Google Chrome. I've got a blank uh, browser window open. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna show you how to find your browser extensions. So if they aren't already installed and you're not, or you're not sure, all you have to do is come up and click on this little icon. It looks like a puzzle piece and you'll see the mouse over says extensions. And then what you wanna do is click on manage extensions on the bottom there. So what we see here is anything that's installed in our browser. The only thing I have currently installed is Google Drive and that's a Google Drive helper. What we need to do now is find and install the Meta Pixel Helper extension. It's really simple to do that. All we have to do is click on this little hamburger menu at the top, and then on the very bottom here, you'll see a link that says Open Chrome Web Store. So we click on that and we get to this page. Use this search bar at the top and type in Meta Pixel Helper. And that's the first thing that comes up at the top here. Just click on this and then click Add to Chrome. It'll check that you have it. It'll ask if you want to install it, which we do. And then now it's installed. So we can close this browser window. And what we're gonna do is open a new page here and we're going to paste in our, uh, to go to our landing page. We've got the landing page loaded in Chrome and that's great. But what we really need to do is we need to test that the Facebook pixel is firing. And we need to see the extension in order to do that. And I don't see it at the top here. So what you can do is again, click on that little extension icon, and then you'll see this little pin button here. You wanna click that. What that's gonna do is show the extension in the browser toolbar up here. So we've got that now, but how do we know if the pixel is working? Well, all you have to do is click on that little extension. It'll open up a little box and it'll show us this little meta pixel helper. And what we're looking for in the bottom is a green icon here. You see how you can click the down arrow here. And what this is doing is it's basically tracking information that's going from the web page back to Facebook. And it's just allowing us to see that communication is happening. So we can see here there's a green check, meaning that Facebook has tracked that this is a conversion, that this is a page view conversion. So we know now that Facebook is tracking that somebody has come to the landing page and it's sending that signal back to Meta. So why is this important? Why do we need to track that data? Why do we need to know that somebody has gone from Facebook to, um, to our landing page? So a lot of realtors will run Facebook ads to promote their listings. And if you're not doing that, I do recommend that you do it. When you're running Facebook ads, 
the pixel data will help collect information about the audience that's visiting your web page. It can track conversions. So let's say we have an ad and that ad is driving traffic to the landing page. And then on the landing page, we have a lead form, a way to collect leads, name, email, phone number. And once someone enters in that form, they go to a thank you page. Well, with a tracking pixel installed, I, I have a way of knowing that somebody has seen my ad, clicked on the ad from Facebook, gone to the landing page, viewed the page on, on the web, and if they've converted to a lead, I'm able to track how many people visited the page and how many people went to the thank you page after completing the form. And that's important information for me to know so that I can identify if my Facebook ad is successful, if the information on my landing page is effective on grabbing leads. This is all information that helps my marketing efforts. The other reason why it's important to have a meta Facebook pixel installed for your Facebook ads is because you can collect information about your audiences and also collect information about the activity on your Facebook ads. For example, if I wanted to run ads in the future and I wanted to show the ads to people who saw my last listing ad, well, I have a way of doing that because now I've recorded within Facebook with this pixel, I'm now able to collect that data of people who have viewed previous ads. I could also make a lookalike audience of that data where Facebook can profile information about people who have visited that landing page or who have interacted with my ad and if I'm not targeting them, Facebook can help me find them so that I can target them with future ads. So all of these little pieces of data that we're collecting can help us to better target our Facebook ads in the future, to help us reach more people and help make sure that the people who saw our ads at one point and are interested in our brand are able to see new ads from us. So it helps our marketing efforts. Now, if you need help with your Facebook or Instagram advertising, just comment below and click, I need help. I'd be happy to reach out to you and help you with your Facebook marketing for your real estate listings. So that's it for this video. We showed you how to install the meta tracking pixel on your landing pages in lead pages so that you can start to collect data about people visiting your website. It's really important for your marketing efforts. If you're looking for more real estate marketing videos, check out the videos down below here. I've got a playlist full of videos that'll help you. Also, be sure to like and subscribe below so you'll get notified on the next video that I release here on YouTube. Once again, my name is Lowell Brown from Going Social, where we take the complicated out of social media and digital marketing and make it a little more simple and easy. I'll see you in the next video.